Nej. Um, well, I will say go for this, because it starts when the game, when it that's what we're, gets ready, set, and then go. Yeah. I will, so the time starts when I say go. And go. So this is cruising as a uh, we use the Jeep for a reason. Uh, the Jeep is I uh, use the fully upgraded Jeep, it's faster when you go off road. For some reason you go faster than the maximum speed you can get. Yeah, this is it's basically not really, really cruising, you just race through the part of the America. So I can just go on, on like a little side on this and go and gain extra speed because uh, like you're off road, but I'm not gonna do it. I I never really practiced and it's not easy. So you can you can play this with D-pad or stick. Stick you go faster like this. D-pad you go low like this. It's easy to use the stick. Not much to tell. This uh, this game is basically a spin off of Fast and Furious. Also, this uh, female you see right there uh, in the arcade version, she is wearing a bikini. Uh, she has a skirt and a bikini. This one is a skirt and shirt. I don't know why they changed that. This is San Francisco. This uh, stage is kind of stupid. And lag. You cannot see what's going on the left. You cannot see it on time, so you need to be just kind of need to guess. Also, you hear a woman scream. Sometimes she says something like "We're gonna crash" or she's screaming. I guess she's like right next to us, the passenger seat. There are some stages that are bullshit in this game. Also. If you crash in the car, you can make a backflip, or you just spin. Like, <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Also, this this music you hear right now is the best music in my opinion in this game. Okay, great. So when you get off the ground, for just like, doesn't matter if you go off the ground like a tiny bit, you lose control for like a second, and it's pretty stupid. Also, all the other cars uh, we raced against, they're just way behind us. Uh, they, it's on New Game Plus, it's basically, you can never lose. <laughs> yeah, we do it on the easiest difficulty with the fastest, uh, fully upgraded fastest car. So losing, uh, unless you're terrible, you cannot lose at all. Also, you see people right here, we're just, we basically now kill one person, that one, that, the guy, the other. I just don't understand why they put that there. Yeah, this game is pretty good. So there's uh, 14 stages in total. Just go through the... And ...shift between 3rd and 4th when going at 170 miles per hour. Uh, totally doable with this car. But you can shift between 3rd and 4th. If you do that fast, you go even faster and faster. Yeah, I just flew in the air. What are we gonna happen? Oh, nope. I just go normal. Also, you can see a bus drive into that thing, just go down and... Looks weird.
This is the first of the three N64 cruising games. There's World and... Oh, nice! Thanks for that turn. That was lucky. There's Cruising USA, this is the first one. There's Cruising World and Cruising Exotica. Fortunately, those two are not on Virtual Console, or else I would have probably done it to well, run them. I think uh, I read that in the arcade version, there is there are actually like those billboards where it shows Fast and Furious commercial things or something. So this little part of this stage is somewhat kind of difficult. Just need to turn the right time, or else you just go off. You can hit a tree and just falls flat like it's paper or something or cardboard. Yep, yeah. Oh. Yes, two trees just died. Also, you can change view. Yes, you can even play it like this. I don't like playing like this because it's looks weird. I don't know how I dodge those trees. I can just play like this. Going off road to get that extra speed. Uh, this is a stage where you can go on the sidewalk. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not good at that. And if you bonk in the tree, you get uh, like basically knocked back. Uh, so you bounce back and go on this part like this. It's not easy though, but yeah, it makes you go faster. Because of the extra speed you gain. Nice, nice, okay. Nice! <laughs> Thanks, Brock. Like Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> nice, okay. Sometimes uh, the car can just, uh, when you crash into the car, the car can be in. can lay on its uh, back uh, in front of you and cannot go in reverse, so you just need to steer to the side and keep uh, gas, keep on your gas, uh, but yeah, they can basically just lay in front of you and just you keep bonking to them. That can happen, and that's pretty shitty if that happens. And it's pretty stupid. Cannot do anything about it. Yeah, it looks like you go fast in corners, yeah. Well, don't really lose that at all, that much. So we're just gonna drive in this part. We don't use the road, because the road are for dummies. This is the, this is the real uh, road we're driving on. This is how you're supposed to drive. Right. 
Okay, sometimes I just get teleported to the middle. Uh, I didn't understand why that happened. But yeah, I just got teleported to the middle of the road. And sometimes it can be dumb and just place a car that's in front of me. Okay, again, I got teleported. <laughs> Okay, that's three times in a row. Good job, game. Uh, this one is called Depth. Death Valley, uh, there's a reason. Like, for <laughs> Sometimes there's a car coming, it's on the right side, but sometimes there's also a car coming on the left. And you just need to go to the side, because you cannot go between them. And that's pretty dumb if you try to uh, upgrade every car, that's annoying if that happens. And there's a car on the other side too. Like this, there. If that happened a little bit later, I would have bonked into them. Also, in these corners, they can just appear like that, and you need to be way faster to even react on it.
Now suddenly there's a huge gap, I don't know why they did that. They could have put more stages into it. They decided just to have a huge gap. So we have this cage, we just go around with that around them. Don't care about them. Okay, well done game. I didn't hit anything there. Um, well, heard of four people again. So, this is uh, Chicago. This stage is dumb. See why it's dumb later in the states. This part is not it's normal, except for these things there. There are even holes in the roads. I don't know why they did that. Like right here, that's just a hole. Nice, I bounced. So this part, this part is already dumb. But the next is dumber. Also, in these corners, you cannot see what's if something's down. Good job! I got hit by the wall. So when you um, hit the uh, when you hit something and you spin, when all if the spin is almost done, if you get hit again, uh, it just does another extra spin. So I just got three spins in a row there. So you cannot see anything in these corners. So I need to hope they are on the side and not in the middle. So this part coming up is even dumber. Like even the cars don't know, sometimes don't know what they do. That's a drunk driver right there. Sometimes these cars just bonk into these poles. Like this truck <laughs> didn't even know what to do. It was just... Just hit the thing. Okay, this car was just going in the side, into the middle. Good job. Yeah, this stage is dumb. Look, <laughs> even the fire truck bonked into that. This game is dumb. Nice, nice. Good job, good job, game. Thanks for teleporting me.
We're almost at the uh, final stages, second last stage. So the time is coming up soon. And time. Oh, not bad at all. So the time is coming up soon. bad at all. So it shows... Alright. No problem. Alright, thanks for uh, having me. Good luck with the rest of the marathon. <laughs>